Hello everybody and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage, where we left off, we beat Pepsi's uh, Paralogue chapter, and we got a ring that I assume is to marry someone. And we have but one Paralogue left to do. If you are new here, there is about a 2-5 to five second delay between what you see on the video and what I see on the television. I take a lot of screenshots for thumbnail purposes, and if at any point you see a jump cut editing out so many fights or story elements, just know that that means the gameplay was laggy and unviewable. Where are we? Gebel Castle. At least that's what it looks like. Some place you've been? Yeah. It's near the border between the nations of Crimea and Gallia. Interesting that this place is where we'll have our trial. Trial? We were pursued here by forces from the Kingdom of Dayan. They laid siege, trapping us. Our escape was cut off. The strength of their forces was overwhelming. My father had died. And I'd taken up his role as leader of the Grail mercenaries. And this is where I met my first great trial. That sounds rough. What did you do? I fought to protect my sister and the Grail mercenaries. If you found yourself in the same situation, what would you do? I'd like to think I would also fight. I don't want anyone I care about to be harmed. And I believe you would fight well. So show me how you would defend those near to you. No words now, only deeds. A trial? You want me to fight you? If you win this fight, our bond will become even stronger. Understood. I won't lose. That's the spirit. Now, Let's begin. Oh, Ike. Oh, no matter how many times I see this, this is never not happy to me. Okay. So. Yep. That would be the boss. I don't think he had a spear. I think he used a tomahawk, but I could be wrong. Now. Typically, there would be two other uh, horse riders here, so that's a bit of off. This man would usually have a red gem, but I don't think red gems exist in this game. There would be a Mimerdon somewhere around here. I think one... I don't remember if there's two generals. You would, you would expect me, of all people, to memorize everything. But I guess here's a Mimerdon. But, uh, your boy Ike. Yeah, who cares about Hammer? Ah, uh, there he is. And also, if you have never played Path of Radiance before in your life, I don't blame you because it was sold poorly, poorly, but this, this right here. Well, you are a female. Oh, good. I thought they had this character as a male mage. Okay, good. This is 100%. 100% an Ileana reference. Because Ileana shows up or starts with Elf Thunder and regular Thunder. And if you don't know, uh, first of all, on both my main channel and on this Let's Play channel, Ileana is the icon of this channel. So if you didn't know who that was, that's her. I mean, this is not Ileana. You and it details. This is not Ileana. This is nowhere close to what Ileana looks like. But, because Ileana is technically not really in the game, they don't have an Ileana model, so they're just making this as a reference. And... Honestly, because she signifies Ileana, I'm going to try my best to not kill her. Now, the way you would typically do this, and, well, the way I do it, at least, is I would send Oscar and Ike over to here. Because when you have Oscar and Ike here, you'll have Oscar who can defend against a lot of attacks, and Ike can talk to Ileana to recruit her. I would send Boyd down here with a Poleaxe, so that he can take care of all of these enemies, and he's usually strong enough to 
survive an encounter with the boss and sometimes even kill him. I would take Titania, which is similar to what Pepsi is, where she is a uh, a rider, and I would put her over here because she's a pre-promo and she can typically defend against all of these guys. And then Sword and Mia don't do anything, and then Rice is just a backup healer. I know this makes no sense to, to people who have never played Path of Radiance, but if you've played it, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, we will send Marin over here. Did I re uh, redo the Emblem Rings? Oh, Jade has Ike. Okay. So, I gotta try and beat Ike with Jade if I can. Swap spaces. Which means I gotta bring Jade over here. Now I'm gonna put these two back here. And before I fucking forget, because in every single fucking uh, thing, I have forgotten to change this character. Uh, I don't know if I've given her Royal Knight yet. So let's do that so that she can still keep her staff wielding. Unfortunately, she's no longer a flyer. Hot. But this also means that she can still get level up points and not max out in a single battle. Don't mind me. I just got a Pokemon go to the polls thing. Right. Now that we are seven minutes in after I have fanboyed so much. No, I will never apologize because I love this fucking chapter. This, to me, is... Well, really the second point when the game starts to be fun. It really starts to be fun when you get to Mia, which is the chapter before this. But here we go. Give me your best. He <laughs> I I have high expectations here. What a lovely scene. Anytime. I genuinely don't remember if this song is in Path of Radiance, and I'm sure it is. Understood. But I don't remember. Anything for you. Our time has come. Oh, so happy. I do have to send Pepsi over here, just because I've hot, I've hot. Fuck off! I've had everyone fight with the emblem boys. with uh, Pepsi, so I must do this. Uh, and then Ivy can go here, no mistakes. and then Vale. I should send her over with Pepsi, so I can get the A support. Look, look, look marvelous. All the more reason to bring Tellius home to the Switch. I know one chapter, well, technically it's two chapters because they also have Micaiah, uh, but I know these two don't signify a complete ass game, but they would be able to handle both Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance, because it is a, like, uh, Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn are together, the final blow. because it's a combined story with a time skip, similar to Three Houses. And I'm sure other games did a time skip as well, but uh, I don't know if any other of the Fire Emblem games uh, had two games for a time skip. I 
I have an idea. Perfection. Because I also believe if you're stupid enough to kill Ileana in Path of Radiance, you don't get her L Thunder. I mean, I don't know why some idiot would murder Ileana, a defenseless woman. Uh, but, you know, it exists, sadly. Silence. Prevents staffs. Good. Uh, staff. Silence. Okay, we're not in range. So, we are going to... We can destroy. Uh, attack. With the Thoron. Oh, and this means Micaiah is technically in Path of Radiance right now. I'm strong after all. Okay, I need to watch out for this game's equivalent of Ileana. Because I really, really do not want to attack her. Ready. Okay, so I can't push Jade any farther than that. A satisfying ending. I need my text document that I forgot to load up. Oh, I'm so happy. I win this one. Okay. Now here comes the tricky part. We have no or no other archers. So let's go together. Man, Marth on Path of Radiance. These fictional characters have no idea how significant this one stage is to me. Emblem engage. And it's also kind of funny because I have faith in the goodness of humankind. I'm going to end up uploading a version of this to my main channel. So, for people on the main channel watching this, hi, I also have a Let's Play channel. And for people watching on the Let's Play channel, hi, I have a main channel. <laughs> but I will be posting this version on the main channel way later. Like, way later. Erica. It's just like my fairy tales. I gotta give it the, uh... Probably like a good month before I upload it to the main channel. Just to avoid as much spoilers as possible. <laughs> by the way, by the time you see this particular video, either on the main channel or the side Let's Play channel, uh, I have beaten the game. Because this is so... This is hella pre-recorded, and wow is that a lot of lag. So we'll give her essentially a pole axe. Guess I did it right. Oh, I'm so happy that they chose Ileana. I'm well aware, by the way, that the reason this stage was chosen is not because of Ileana. It is a matter of, you know, like when I said in the beginning, uh, where his father died and he took up the uh, the title of the Grail Mercenary Leader. Like, this has significant importance to him in a variety of ways, and not just because Ileana is here. But, I would also argue that a significantly more impactful, um, can I hit her? No. I have to, unfortunately, get into range of Ileana. Uh, I would assume, like, Chapter 27 could be a good 
uh, a good stage to use. Because that's when he fights his rival that ended his father's life. But this is also the same uh, uh, point in the game where he meets Leave and Mordecai, and then they officially join the party two chapters later. Technically. Because they, they join us at the start of chapter 10. They are available as units in chapter 9, but you can't control them like you can do with these playable units. They are yellow units in chapter 9. So technically, Leo and Mordecai join two chapters after you see them here. In fact, they come along through this path to help Ike and his company, who's right here defending against either the boss or a random turtle fuck enemy, depending on if the boss died or not. This, this and uh, Micaiah's chapter are the ones that I know the most about. Because these two come from my favorite games of all time. If you don't know that about me, I'm not exaggerating here. My two favorite games of all time, hands down, period, are Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Those are my two favorite games as a whole, and my two favorite Fire Emblem games. Liliana. Unfortunately, I had to bring her into... into, a uh, attack range. Now. I do not wish to hurt her. I know this is not actually Ileana. I am well aware. But... She represents Ileana. And... Out of my love for Ileana, I can't. I cannot hurt her. And let's be real here. Do you... Do any of you expect me to hurt Ileana? And if you do, shame on you. I did have to... And, and this hurt my soul. I had to actually kill her on one of the recordings that I've done. Not in recent years. But when I was still trying to do my Path of Radiance fan dub, uh, is this a. Oh, thank goodness. For a second. For a second, I thought this was gonna say Route. I know at the start it said Defeat Emblem Ike, but you never know. I could have missed. I mean, I could have missed seeing it. But, uh. Okay, so Ileana gets to live. She will live. I am so happy. I need to get Jade to kill Ike. If, if you're watching this on the main channel, then I have tried, I don't think I did it with Micaiah, but I've tried to get everyone to kill the emblems to which they're currently using. And at the moment, Jade is currently using Ike. And so, the knight claimed victory. Oh, Eliana, go back to being silenced. Do you have, yeah, you have a revive. Now I know Ike is weak to electric, or er, magic attacks, and by geez are you. Okay. I have to do it this way, because either way, he will hit one of them. I mean, brainless statement is brainless. Uh, I am not attacking Ileana. Out of fucking principle. I'm well aware you can't recruit this, because, you know, she technically, right now, this is a generic enemy. But, I refuse to harm my Ileana. I am... I will say it, as much as I hate it when people say this, I am her biggest fan. <laughs> I mean, I do want to name my daughter, if I'm lucky to have enough to have a daughter. 
after Eliana. So, if that's not someone who's, who has the biggest fan, I don't know what is. Oh, the backgrounds are so pretty. If you're also watching this on the main channel, you may have noticed, uh, yeah, I have no guys on my team. Because <laughs> I like playing with female characters. Alright, who are you attacking? Jade! Fantastic. Good job, Ike. My turn now. No, Ike, it's my turn now, quite literally. Liberation sucks, so... Please don't crit. I like that look in your eye. It's clear your fighting spirit is strong. I know the only way I'll beat you is to fight harder than you. Then you understand what lies ahead. Now show me you can fight as well as you talk. Okay, thank goodness. So, from what I understand, there is special dialogue between these emblem fights and uh, whoever first uses them. Like how Pepsi has one with Mar. Uh, she's not in my party, but I think Yunaka has one with Makias, probably. Uh, do I have anyone else? Oh yeah, Ivy. I think Ivy had one with Leaf. Uh, Gold Mary doesn't have one, and I, I question if Vale has one with Marth, because she was with Marth for a while, but uh, the thing is, I believe Ike's original uh, host was Tamara, but Tamara's not in my party, so, I mean, I still have her, but like, I don't, she's not on my team, so I won't be able to show that dialogue for this fight, but why do you look so sad? Concentrated? What emotion is this? Uh, I won't be able to show that, but let's let's get Ike again. Jade without Ike was the MVP. The Radiant Hero. Great work. You overcame the trial well. Thank you, Ike. You should know that going forward, the fighting's gonna get more intense. It's important to remember that you're a leader, and you sir. In this war, there can be no retreat. You're right. If we run away, the world will be covered in darkness. But I worry that fighting this hard may be too much for everyone. Or too much for me. There are people who need your help. Don't worry. You're more than capable. And when it seems your spirit might break, it's the bonds you forge that will win the day. I'll hold your words in my heart. Don't worry. If it looks like you've forgotten it, I'll be there to remind you. You'll be by my side? Always? Always. Thank you, Ike. I'm glad to know you're here with me. Oh, I'm so happy. They chose Path of Radiance. <laughs> they chose Ileana. They, it makes sense for them to do a Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn map. They didn't have to, but I'm glad that they did. They chose Ileana's map. There's so many other maps in Path of Radiance that I would think is a good... Oh, Ileana! Ileana, 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 Ileana. Uh, that I feel would be a an acceptable thing to do. She will be... Why is Monica Ryle where Ileana would be? Monica Ryle, why are you here? Ooh. This is a scenic spot. I could make a lot of money here, but the tourist traps in it. Don't put a trap where my Ileana would be. Go fuck yourself. Oh yeah, for the main channel, people, I don't like Monica Ryle. 
Eh. No, I'm fine with Mark Rowell as a voice actress, but like, I don't like she's voiced by Mark Rowell. It makes me uncomfortable because all I can picture is the uh, the Christian girl from Ghost Stories. Because it's the exact same voice. Oh. I keep wanting to call this Castle Knox. It is not Castle Knox. Castle Knox is in 313. Bird! Gosh damn it. Oh. So happy. Oh, I can't adopt anything. So I guess... Yeah. That'll be where the enemies come in from. Oh. They chose Ileana's chapter. Did I already talk to... I talked to the eagle. I'm going to the, 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 the drop here. See, I... I have to especially wait to upload this on the main channel, because we got hella spoilers here. Hella spoilers. Hella spoilers. And I just uploaded the parts with you today. No. No, that's tomorrow's part. Uh, anyways. That's beside the point. Uh, we will head to the sawmill. It's very possible that the uh, main channel is just going to see a jump cut now where I presumably show Micaiah's chapter. But the Let's Play channel will continue seeing this. <laughs> I had so much fun today. So this is what it feels like to have family. Oh, Vale, there's something I'd like to ask you. How do you feel about our father? About Sombra? Oh... Soon we'll have to face him. Not as his children, but as his enemies. So, I had to ask. Yes. Papa hurt so many people in the past. And now he's doing it again. He is... evil. He's never shown me kindness. I'm not sure he thinks of me at all. Still, he is family. Just like you. So, I can't hate him entirely. That's... that's honestly a mood. I understand. Sometimes I just wish I could be part of a happy family. But I know that's a silly dream. At the very least... I hope I can stop Papa before he hurts anyone else. No. I will stop him. So... That is how I feel about our father. Thank you for telling me, Vale. I feel the same. The time for reconciliation is long past. I will use all of my power to stop Sombron, but I won't be able to do it without you. Don't worry. You and me and the rest of our friends... We'll stop him together. Okay. Let's do this, Vale. Yes. For our future. That's really nice. And she will never bond, so that's fine. Marin. Hmm. <sighs> Marin. It's difficult to train with you staring at me like that. Don't mind me. I'm not even here. I'm simply observing your behaviors to gather material for my book. And how long do you plan to do that exactly? As long as it takes. Don't you worry. I'm not going to stop until I've captured every last detail. <sighs> Please, cut it out. What? I was just... You were just nothing. I'm not one of your critters, okay? Yes, I am a dragon. I live longer than humans and have certain unique abilities. But I also have feelings. I don't appreciate being gawked at like an animal. Divine One, I'm so sorry. You're also implying that animals like to be gawked at. It's just that, to me, you are more than human. You're a truly divine being. I wanted to make sure future generations understood that, in hopes that they would protect you, the one and only divine dragon. But I never meant for you to feel like some kind of research specimen. I know you didn't. It's all right. No, it's not. Because that's exactly how I made you feel, isn't it? Forget about the book. I'll stop writing it. I'm sorry, Divine One. Marin, please. It's really okay. Well, that was a sudden end. Oh, right, it's only beast support. I forgot that they always awkwardly end support conversations. 
just to have the A support. Oh my gosh. So we are 30 minutes in, but these are really short, so this should be fine. Um, Erica? Who is that beautiful man who shows up sometimes and looks just like you? That's my twin brother, Ephraim. Sorry if he surprised you, but he's impressed with you too. You're always so poised and relaxed in battle, Gold Mary. How do you do it? A luxurious hot spring bath refreshes my body and leaves me with a serenity that lasts all day. Hot. Hi. I feel at ease around you, Sir Ike. I'm not entirely sure why. I guess we both prefer to skip idle chatter. Except for right now, that is. <laughs> Why are you using idle chatter with me? I have to make up for all the bad things I've done. Will you help? Will you fight beside me? Oh, Vale, of course I will. You are one of us now. Are you willing to fight alongside me, Roy? Even after what I did to the King of Brodia? Of course I am. King Morian's death wasn't your fault. Well, that was quick. Marin, Lucy. Lady Lucina, I understand you used to fight wearing a mask. I might try wearing one myself. I only wore one to hide my identity. But I do think a mask would look dashing on you, Marin. You're adorable. However, how old are you? Because I remember you saying that you come from 10 years in the future, but people keep saying that you're a grown adult, and you're not. You have incredible strength, Lapis. Our foes are fierce. But together, we will reclaim peace. I'm not sure how useful I'll be, but I'll try. Let's wish ourselves luck, too. Couldn't hurt, right? And two more. Professor! I'm so excited you're here and on our side! I've been dying to shake your hand! I would very much like to. But a friendly wave will have to do. <laughs> He's just straight up, uh, don't touch me, you weirdo. I'll fight alongside you, but do not touch me. Etie, are you alright? I heard an unearthly noise. Sorry about that. I was training a little too hard and accidentally took out a wall. Wasn't well, there an earlier support conversation or something in a previous part? That was like, there's a hole in the wall. Who would do that? And I even made a reference to saying, oh, I can picture Etia doing that. And now it's just like, blatantly canon. <laughs> Alright. And with all of those paralogs done, we can finally continue the story tomorrow. So, I'll see you in the next part. Thank you so much for watching. Jagath, out!